hey guys what's good welcome back to my youtube channel this right here has to be the shortest video on this channel okay but it is really important for me to show you guys how to make this popular salon sweet salon treat salon snack whatever you want to call it so you basically just need sweetened condensed milk and butter for this recipe as you guys have seen and then of course you need pot and heat so you're going to add your butter and let it melt a little and then you add the sweetened condensed milk to that as I'm doing. Please make sure you don't lick it because the temptation is real, okay? So make sure you add the milk into that butter and then stir properly. Just keep stirring. Make sure you do this on low heat, you guys. By the time you know it, if you're not careful, this whole thing will turn black. And if it's black, then it's sorry for you, okay? There's nothing you can do with it. So please make sure you do this on low heat to get the best results. This is quick and easy. You'll just have that one bowl full of, you know, sweets, something to snack on when you're at home and all of that. And you'll have confidence knowing you made it yourself because the molding part is <laughs> so when you do it yourself you have the confidence to eat it and then lots of people have history of you know selling butterscotch back then in school and all that i sold butterscotch back then the profits been plenty okay it's easy to make and then you have lots of profits so lots of girls did this back in school children of nowadays cannot understand but we used to prepare this really well and then just put it in a container and then sell either in the neighborhood or in school you just like you need that money okay you need that pocket money So you keep stirring until it turns brown and as you do that you'll see that it thickens and then it reduces basically so you'll do that until you get the desired brown color and then we move to the next stage that is the stage that i hate like the stage that i hate is the molding part so if you have like a nice cutter of some sort or whatnot you can use that because to mold this thing is hell like it has been so long since i did it so doing it on that day like my hand was red and you have to do it while it's hot otherwise you're not going to get the desired shapes and this is one of the reasons why i don't like to buy it out out of my house because you have to use your hand to do it basically so yes this is the finished look you guys can see how yummy this looks okay this is creamy and delicious you're just going to keep this in a container and just cover it nicely and enjoy so i hope you guys like it i hope your kids like it your family members like it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video please make sure you try it okay